Super D here with Super D TV 3000. Little rehab stuff. Elbows hurt me a little bit. So I have my main training partner, Levi Charlotte Fire Department. <laughs> he work, he, uh, he's compressing it. We did a massive compression job here. I, there's nothing really I can do. I'm just going to hold it out for about 90 seconds to two minutes. Extreme compression wrap for an extreme guy. That what can I say? So then I'm going to show you what we're going to do some exercises to get that elbow feel a little bit better right before we squat. We're going to take and he's going to manipulate this a little bit before we get started. He's going to pull up like that. A little external rotation, a little internal rotation. Man, that hurts. But it is what it is, right, Levi? Mm -hmm. You have any trouble with your elbows, um, your bicep tendon, whatever, and you have a, uh, you know, turn a supinator in your hand for the deadlift, put your hand back on a bar to squat. Get a little bit of compression work in before you go and have your training partner manipulate your elbow like this. It makes a world of difference before you get started. My favorite rack, the road rack. I think it weighs a thousand pounds. Not sure, but that's what I'm going with. Anyway, anything happens in an earthquake, flood, just stand right here, you'll be safe. That's what I plan on doing. I'm taking my whole family, I'm just gonna huddle under here. Anyway, let's get back to the elbow. I'm gonna take this thing, I'm gonna slip knot this band. I use this, you know, I use this band uh, because it's for my elbow, it just works. A lot of ones you could use a little smaller. I'm gonna slip knot right around here, get the best, best I can do. You got that, Levi? All right. Now I'm just gonna put it around here like this. And I don't have to be perfectly, perfectly even, but just close. And now, as you can see, watch the hair on your arms. I'm gonna get, I used a curl bar. This curl bar is from the University of Iowa. You're from Iowa. So the strength coach there threw all of that out. I got a whole new set of stuff, so I snagged one of these bars. Anyway, I'm gonna start just like this. I go into the band, bend in like I'm doing a push-up, and back up, boom, let it snap. See how I'm doing that? I'm gonna get about 15, 20, whatever. And we go over here, turn it around, get a little bit more tension. And start. Let it snap. The important thing it's doing is this moving that joint as straight as possible, much more than you could do on your own. So we do this with the knee all the time, why not the elbow? Don't they both work very similar? Just don't have an elbow cap like you have a knee cap. Did God make a mistake? I don't think so. All right, now I'm in an extreme position. I'm letting it snap. I can actually feel that elbow joint giving in. You know, there's many uses for a curl bar in rehab, and this is one of the best ones I've found. I never really actually curled one before, but here's where we go. And I get it done, I got probably I have about 30 to 50 reps in here, and I'm getting exhausted, so I'm gonna stop, take this off, and then go to my next one. The thing I'm gonna do, it's a little contrasting to what I just got done doing, I was pushing out my, now I'm gonna pull in real hard with tension. Check this out, I'm using a bigger band for this one. I hook this right through my road rack here. I'm gonna go over, come here closer cameraman, look at this. I'm gonna weave it around. So I have it, I'm gonna go over this one, set this one, because I want it the same height as my elbow. And come over here, and I'll hook it in right here. Now I have plenty of room to work with, so I'm gonna get right about there, pull that bar down, and just opposite of what we just got doing, instead of bending into it, I'm gonna pull and lock my arm the best I can. I'm still backing up to allow my arm room to extend. See that, bam. Boom, just like that. And I want to hold it once I get it there. Just don't tap and go, all right? Don't be one of those kind of people. Uh -huh. Hit it and hold it. That's it. Just like that. Again, same rep range. I'll get about 15 to 20, run about three sets, get a more aggressive grip going. Get here, when you get a more aggressive grip, got to move the body too, okay? Just don't lean over one direction. Boom. Right there where I need to be. Always have your band equal to the, the same height as your elbow, okay? Don't have it coming from down there or up there. It needs to be kind of the same level, horizontal plane. Punch it. Punch it. And feels like a million bucks. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is a little internal and external rotation on the radial bow. So I'm going to take this band. Look, it's a broken mini band. Never throw your broken bands away. You can always use them for something. Trust me on that one. You'll find a neat form. If you have a mind that works like that, I'm gonna put my hand like this, close it with my fingers. I'm gonna get it even again. That same horizontal plank. 
Now watch what I'm going to do. Have it like this. Move. Again, I'm seeing 20 rep rings for this. It's just a mini band. Boy, it'll start burning after a while. Not a muscular burn. Let's just get going. Pretty cool, huh? I'll go about three sets of 20. If any of you people have torn a bicep, like the distal tendon rupture or anything like that, great stuff for this. Helps you get in better, even if you have a bicep problem going on. Really good things. There's, there's some therapy things you can do for your elbows and wrists that you just don't think about doing because it's not fun. I mean, standing here doing this, I feel like a movie critic. Bad, good, bad, good. See that? No, that's not cool. But if it helps me get, get better without having an operation, I'm certainly going to give it a shot. I'm going to take the same mini band. I'm going to go external rotation. Put it right here. Go around my hand. See that? Same thing. I'm just going to hold it here, okay? Get it right there. You can practice with whatever bands you want. You can use larger bands than this, but this does the job after 20 reps. It's that short, you know? Take it right here. Thumbs out of the way. Boom. Next turn to rotate. It's as far as I can go. That's all I can ask. All right? And I'm going to hold this, this position. I don't want to lose integrity in there. I just keep going. I'll get to 15, 16, and 20, and then rest. All right? And then I'm done with my little elbow therapy session. I did this all on my own. Oh, I had assistance getting a few things. But this really helps. So there's an external toe rotation with this band. And my... Uh, Canny things where I pushed out against the band and tucked the band in. Great stuff if your elbows are hurt. And it's good therapy. I suggest twice a week, three times a week, four times a week if you're in uh, chronic pain. All right. And um, I'll tell you what happened. I got married and we got this smaller bed. I don't have the, the Super D king size bed that I used to have. And I'm sitting there and wifey poos heads on my arm and it was killing me. I went to bench and my elbow was just shot. So I have to do this therapy and I switched sides of the bed. So best things to get a new bed. All right, this is Super Deep saying, we'll see you on the platform and take care of those elbows.